Hello everybody, in this video I have a collective haul to share with you. It's various in terms of whether it's general crafty, mixed media, arty stuff. I have stuff from Hobbycraft, from The Works, from Marry Me Small Art and a couple of bits from eBay. And yeah, it's quite a mix of different crafty things. So I'm going to start with Hobbycraft. The main reason I ordered from Hobbycraft was because I needed a new craft trolley because one of my three the wheels had bent due to the weight of the stuff I had on it and they couldn't be fixed and I needed one that needed to be wheeled around so I bought a new one of those and then just picked up a couple of extra bits because you know when you're ordering and you've already got the free delivery you might as well so not loads as I said I picked up one of these 8x8 scrapbooks now I don't actually scrapbook in these things I'll just open it hang on yeah, as I said, I don't usually scrapbook in these. I used to once upon a time, or at least I used to stick layouts in them. Um, not really this size though, but I actually use these for art journals because the paper is much thicker because it's designed to hold layouts and stuff. It's really, really good for art journaling. And also with the, the coil bound system, there's a little more give for all the stuff that you're gonna put in it and stuff. So yeah, I just picked this up because it was cheap and I didn't have a craft paper one I thought would be exciting for art journaling but I still have other art journals that I'm going to fill up so I probably won't use this for a while but I just as I said I snapped it up because it was on offer for a couple of pounds and I thought it was super cute. Then everything else is flowers. I got these two little packs. I will admit I didn't read the description and didn't realise they were this small but I'm not completely disappointed. Maybe price-wise I'm a little bit disappointed because for the price they were, I might have expected a little bigger. But they are adorable. I mean, look how freaking cute are they. So there's like the minty turquoisey ones and then the coral pink ones. But yeah, I don't know how does it say how many is in there. It does, but I can't get the flower. Oh, there we go. 60. But they are super cute. Then these ones just trying to get them out of the way so I can see the number I think that says 20 just some simple sort of off-white flowers with pearl centers just because white paper flowers or off-white or ivory or cream or whatever the ones I need and get through the most hence why I bought three packets of these 30 packs of different sizes as well they've all got a hole in the middle which isn't ideal but when I use flowers on projects I always put something in the center anyway whether it be a pearl or a gem or a nouveau drop or whatever so it doesn't really matter they just don't look as pretty inside the packet really but yeah that doesn't matter at all so that's everything from Hobbycraft then from the works I have various bits I'll start with the arty stuff I got one of these cheap watercolor pads they're just they're perfectly fine watercolor paper they do have a strange powdery texture on them which does make me go Yuch! a little bit but if you wipe them down it's fine it's just the works art equipment is such good value and I go through these quite a lot because I do a lot of my shop designs on watercolor paper so just picked up one of those for that reason I got two packs of these five by seven inch flat canvas board six packs um these were actually the main thing i wanted from the works and i'd been waiting for them to get in stock really i just think they're a really perfect size for doing little mixed media projects on and also if i do mixed media projects that i can then put as a book cover for like a journal or something that i then put in my etsy shop or use for myself or give as a gift or whatever five by seven is just like the ideal size it's my favorite so two of those then just two packs of brushes mostly because i just abuse my brushes bless them so when they are cheap like this i just pick them up because why not the wash brushes in particular my other wash brushes i've got at the moment are really really starting to feel their age and the bristles are coming out and sometimes like you can see bristles in within the paint of my project or something so just some new ones of those and then just general ones as well for using in mixed media and stuff i have a set of really nice brushes which i use for actual water coloring and painting and stuff but i just have some cheaper ones for doing as i said mixed media crafty projects then for the more crafty items i got this pack of parcel tags uh, it just says 23 small 12 large for two pound i just thought they'd be really good for junk journaling i love a good tag so yeah, why not and then this pack of 60 wooden flowers, which I just thought would be good for mixed media projects. Then everything else from the works is paper pad related. I got these three, which are relatively-ish new to the works, these MNC boutique ones. I love them so much. It's like 
one of my favorite cheap brands. It's like a works brand, I think. As far as I know, I don't know if you get them anywhere else. Maybe stores like Action on the European mainland or something. I don't know, but anyways, they're just, this is probably the least nice out of the three. But I really do like these paper pads. They're so useful for so many things. Like that's a bit eh, but I think if you fussy cut some of those butterflies, then yeah, they would look pretty. I love that one with the roses and the torn paper and that one as well, like it's on canvas. Then this one, they might have different names on the website or something, but they don't say what they are on the paper pad itself. This one's really pretty, very vintagey, lots of florals, two of my favorite things. I'm very happy I got this one. Yeah, I like pretty much all of those. Then this one is probably my favorite. It is really, really gorgeous. I mean, look at some of these, the colors and the watercolor and the vintagey stuff and just very much my kind of thing. Love that one. Then the other stuff I've got has probably been hauled to death on YouTube. So I'm gonna show it really, really quickly in case you've already seen it loads. And they're just like, oh, I've already seen these months ago, Grace. Where have you been? But this is one of their die cut books. I just thought it'd be good for junk journaling and stuff. Um, I have one similar to this already. They had another one, like a vintagey one, but and I was sure I put it in my basket, but it didn't arrive. And when I checked my list and my invoice, it just wasn't there, and I haven't been charged for it. So something must have gone wrong there but I've actually since had to place another well had to matter of opinion but I've placed another order from the work since that isn't really worth um, sharing in a video because it's pretty much just a load of canvases and arty stuff that's mostly for my shop um, but I managed to pick up the vintage one with that order so I do have it or have it coming then there is these paper boutique paper pads which are very pretty a little more higher price than you would usually see in the works but obviously like it's an actual brand or whatever i got these not only because i just thought the patterns were really cute and stuff oh i thought there was a spider it's just a bit of fluff um but they're actually paper instead of card that you often get in the paper pads the cheaper paper pads and it's just like especially when i'm making journals for either myself or the shop or whatever um having actual patterned paper rather than card is nice because they're nice to put in the journals themselves so these are pretty much for the shop so that one was summer en provence excuse my french i did want 12 by 12 of that but they were out so i've just settled for the 8 by 8 a touch of romance here there's only there's not that many different patterns there are just lots and lots of repeated papers but as i said i'm only flicking through quickly because you've probably already seen them because people were buying this like two months ago but i thought i'd share anyway and then this one is a countryside story this is probably my favorite i don't know but i mean how gorgeous is that paper i absolutely love that one really really pretty and good for like inserts and stuff in journals. It's quite a thick quality paper. What is it, 160 GSM, but at the same time it's not card, so it would make nice pages, as I said. So that's why I got those guys, and that is everything from the works. Next up, I treated myself to some stuff from Marami Small Art, who, if you do not know already, um, it is Marta, who has a very, very successful, very brilliant YouTube channel. Um, she's a mixed media artist. She's got like 200,000 subscribers. So you've probably heard of her. I am a little bit in love with her. I'm not going to lie to you. And yeah, there's some stuff I've been really wanting from her shop for a while. So I picked some bits up. First up, though, she gives you so many freebies with your order. It's amazing. And as a shop owner myself, I don't I know how she does it because like there's just so many beautiful things here so this page of gorgeous fussy cutting elements there's this thank you for your order which has the butterflies which you could either use as a whole or fussy cut which is probably what i'll do the paper she, it's printed on as well it is lush then this which is her own designs i believe that might be as well i don't know for sure but gorgeous flowers there some more gorgeous flowers another says hello hello thank you so much for your order have a lovely day and happy crafting i just love that and then these little bookmarks of her designs of the flowers i just 
they're so gorgeous i mean i will probably fussy cut these rather than use them as bookmarks but just so many freebies i love it but as for the things i actually ordered we'll look at that in a second i haven't looked at these properly yet because they only arrived the other day so this is the ever and always paper set which is pretty much a big old bunch of fussy cutting opportunities really so there are tags butterflies and more tags beautiful flowers more butterflies more tags oh look at those birds those are beautiful there are some phrases which are in mm, i'm gonna say polish for the oh turn them over and they are in english <laughs> but now a little bit of polish education there best wishes is i'm not going to try and pronounce it and insult any polish person out there by butchering your language but anyway there's that and then these six by 12 sheets again all the things to cut out i'm so excited tags florals butterflies well i think it's pretty much all tags florals and butterflies but each page has kind of a color theme how oh look at those butterflies <gasps> oh i can't cope they are too gorgeous all these leaves as well i just uh, love okay next is the decorative tracing papers set which is pretty much a load of printed vellum and i am a sucker for some printed vellum i love it so let's have a little look at these wow that is thick vellum i mean that is really really thick vellum wow just wow i mean that's got to be like 160 gsm does it say 190 wow anyway <laughs> i'm such a nerd i'm getting so excited about paper thickness ah oh, paper thickness anyway hmm, yes um butterflies dragonflies i mean i won't describe every single thing on each page because you can see there's tags there's little clocks keys all sorts of beautiful vintagey things oh they are gorgeous oh i love that lady there the typewriter so many beautiful things and there are what does it say nine of these how gorgeous i can't get over how thick this vellum is i'm obsessed next up i got one of her own design stencils i don't know how well you can see but it's kind of like a, a brickwork stencil maybe if i just get some scratch paper and do a little test there we go or obviously already used that for something grabbed a random oxide the first one that fell into my hand so i can just stencil this so you can see roughly what it looks like do, 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 do. okay so not stenciled very well but as you can see it's like a distressed brick wall love it and now i have to clean my brand new stencil <laughs> obviously that's not exactly showing it off as its best and i think it will look particularly gorgeous with some like cosmic shimmer granite paste or something give it that bricky stone sort of vibe but yes go back in there we go and then lastly i got a load of rice papers which were separately packaged in this which is really you know thoughtful keeping them safe and uncreased and whatnot um it was three or four different sets so i don't know i've gone through these already and i might have mixed them up so i yeah i might have mixed up the sets or whatever so i'll just link like rice papers in her shop if you're interested how gorgeous are these i'm so excited to start using them i am a little bit obsessed with rice papers and collage papers at the moment i will admit it but i just could not resist oh i love that could not resist these they were a really good price just oh so very very beautiful i've got some poppies i've got some ab studio stuff that has poppies on so that will go nicely some flowers more butterflies hooray more florals and then like old letters or something so that is one two 18 i think different rice papers i got there Yep. so exciting so yes that is everything from marini's small art really highly recommend just everything's beautiful and beautifully packaged and all those freebies and just 
it only just arrived which is about why I'm like most excited about it because it's the newest thing anyway one more thing I got some Tim Holtz bits from an eBay shop the name of which I cannot remember at the moment but I will link the shop in the description nope I can't remember what it is and I've just remembered something else I have these as well which I picked up from Amazon these are the transparent wings butterflies there's a mix of I'll just show you if I can open this I don't want to get the lot out because they were a pain after I first looked at them packed them away but if I just show you there's a mix of like colored butterflies like these ones and then totally clear ones like this but then also a load of little individual wings and there's loads of those in there so a lot of options different shapes as well like this little guy so just loads and loads of acetate butterflies 72 pieces so you get a lot on there this I don't think this was from Amazon directly it was from you know like a, a third place of what was it third party merchant whatever um, I think it was country view crafts I think again I will try and link the right thing but they may not have it anymore so I might have to just put the general link for that one but yes these are the ones from the same ebay shop i got these remnant rubs which is the two pages i believe they're both the same so i'm not going to get them out but you can see on there what sort of thing you've got i do love a rub on i really really do i am also a little bit obsessed with them but they can be so expensive like they are not the cheapest crafting <laughs> supply to get so i don't get them too often but i can't resist a bit of tim holtz i mean he's just fab isn't he? So yes, it was a very good price, but I can't remember what that price is. And then I got, these are fairly new. This is the field notes and I got the field notes normal size and the snippets. Um, there's the same amount in each one. It's just the snippets are basically a much smaller version. So I'm not going to open this one because you can see all the designs in this one. If I can open it up. Oh goodness, this is going to take forever to put back in the packet there are so many things in here i mean you look at some of the tim holtz ephemera and think oh that's a lot of money for an ephemera pack but there is a little bit more in these packs than you get in your average ephemera pack i mean look at all these and this is so my thing vintage botanicals anything like that i am all over you've got a mix of butterflies mushrooms dragonflies bugs the botanical drawings and stamps oh my goodness it just goes on forever and ever i love it it's obviously been packed in sort of smallest to biggest oh my goodness how beautiful are these so glad i decided not to open this one because those are just teeny tiny and would get everywhere so many butterflies look at all this isn't it amazing and like little tickets and things i think we're going into the more tickety bits and pieces like specimen labels and uh, field work or whatever you call it oh like library ticket there little bugs so oh look at that that is gorgeous i love it oh there's a seashells one love it i don't know how to keep talking going through all this there's so flipping much of it I'm trying to remember how much it was but i am drawing a blank because it was a couple of weeks ago that i ordered like this will keep me going for a while at least i do love my tim holtz ephemera packs i think we get into the bigger pieces ah, apart from a few smaller pieces of snuck in like an old book cover little labels like a garden maze these are so very gorgeous oh are we done we're done look at that oh yes as i said i'm not gonna open this one because it's exactly the same but smaller and now I have to put all this away joy actually I'm just gonna pile it up because I'm not gonna put it back in here I'm gonna put it in my own ephemera storage so I might just oh here you go there we go it is in its new home now and that one can just go on top so yes that is everything for my collective haul so I have those bits from eBay the bits from Marami Small Art that random one from Amazon I think I've just accidentally my phone various bits and pieces from the works and from Hobbycraft which as you can see I have beautifully displayed for you so yes that is it I will try and link everything that I can Hobbycraft and the work stuff was bought a few weeks ago so whether it's still in stock or not I do not know but I will try and link 
as many things as possible. Thank you so much as always for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Chat me down in the comments. Let me know what things you like the best, what you're excited about seeing, anything you're tempted to get yourself. None of these are obviously sponsored or anything like that. Totally bought, own money, no affiliates, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think that's enough for me. Thank you so much again. I am going.